All right, let's see how you went with the practice questions. Of course, we're trying to determine the distance. So the formula is going to be the speed multiplied by the time. The first question was a speed of 44 kilometers per hour in a time of six hours and 15 minutes. All right. So one of the first things that I would be doing is separating the hours from the minutes. We'll call this distance one, distance two, and when we've done them individually, we'll simply add them back together. All right, so the first equation becomes 44 kilometers per hour multiplied by six hours. Six fours are 24. Six fours are 24 plus the two is 26. All right, that gives me my kilometers automatically or straight away for D1. And because we were calculating in hours, that's it, it's, it's all I need to do. So now we're gonna move on to part two, which would be the minutes. So we'll do it over here, 44 kilometers per hour times 15 minutes. Five fours are 20, carry the two. Five fours are 20 plus the two again, 22. Uh, now I'm moving over into the next column, so I don't forget my zero. One, four is four, one, four is four, zero, six, six. Okay, now we're still in minutes, so what we need to do now, do you remember the next step? We need to divide that by 60. Now when we do that, what we can do fairly easily is to cross off the zero on each side of the equation to keep it sort of proportionate, and then we can divide six into 66. And I think we can see fairly quickly that's that's going to equal 11. That now gives us our kilometers for the other part of the equation, which was D2. Okay, it's a portion of the um, distance because it's a portion of one hour. So now we need to take this step here. We need to add the two together. So if I go down to the bottom here, we've got 264 plus 11. 264 plus 11. And this is all in kilometers. And we've got five, and we've got seven, and we've got two. All right, so that is the answer to the first question. The distance in total is equal to 275 kilometers. All right, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so question two was a speed of two kilometers per hour. So we're plodding along fairly slowly in a time of six hours we are plotting along slowly, aren't we? And 30 minutes. All right, so already you're not noticing that that's half of one hour, so that's gonna be fairly easy to deal with. We like those easy ones. All right, so first thing I wanna do is make sure that I separate these into two separate equations. We'll call this D1, we'll call this D2, and we're gonna add them together once we've dealt with them individually. All right, so two kilometers per hour multiplied by six hours, it's gonna give us 12 kilometers. Okay, and that's my D1 already sorted. All right, now D2, 30 minutes, I don't even need to calculate now, I can see that 30 minutes is half of one hour, and we're traveling two kilometers every hour. Well, I've only traveled for half that time, so I'm only gonna cover half the distance. So two kilometers per hour, I'm gonna cover half of um, that distance of one kilometer. So it's half we're looking at one kilometer. All right, so that becomes my D2. So now when I add, I might change colors here to highlight things a little easier. When I add my D1, the 12 and the D2 together, it's pretty straightforward. I end up with 13 kilometers in total, which is the distance that we were looking for to begin with. All right, let's move on to number three. Okay, so question number three, 16 kilometers per hour in 45 minutes. Now remember the, the groups of time where we had 15 or 30 or 45, and the reason that those numbers were fairly easy to deal with was that they're in um, nice easy fractions. So 45 minutes out of um, a total of 60 minutes, so if this was a fraction 45 minutes, 60 minutes, you know, it's three, it's three quarters, so three quarters of 16 would be our answer. So what you could do is to go one, two, three, there's our four quarters, four, 12, sorry, four, eight, 12, 16, 
And if I was to take three quarters of that, here's one quarter, two quarters, and three quarters, that would give me four, eight, 12. And the answer would be 12 kilometers covered. So that's our distance, and we've got our answer there. So because we have this nice easy 45 minutes, again, it converts easily into a fraction, and you could use that method to try and determine um, the distance covered fairly quickly. If you weren't comfortable with that or it didn't come to mind, then certainly we can keep following the steps uh, and we'll still get to the same result, 16 in 45 minutes. So just quickly go through that. 16 multiplied by 45, so 6 fives are 30, 1, 5, 8, and I'm going a little bit quicker here, I'm trying to anyway, 6 fours are 24, 4, 5, 6, Okay, 0, 12, 7, 20. Okay, there's 720, but it's in minutes. I need to convert this still, so I've got to do my 60 there. Now I can cross these end ones off, and that gives me now an equation of 6 into 72. How many times is 6 going to go into 72? Well, if we set it up as an equation like this, or a division, it's 6 twelves, okay, 12 times, and if I multiplied that back, it would give me the same answer, so I know that's the right answer in kilometers. Um, sorry, not there, you idiot. Up there, isn't it, of course. All right, so 12 kilometers is the answer. Now, of course, if we go back to our, um, well, I've rubbed it out, haven't I, but if we think back to that equation that we did for a 12, we got our 12 kilometers very, very quickly by just thinking of the 45 minutes uh, as a fraction, i.e. three quarters. Okay, so we can still go through this process, and sometimes we have to do that when we don't have a nice, easy time to work with in minutes, like 15, 30, or 45. Those three are really easy to work with. If you don't have that, this formula is going to get us to the same um, place anyway, and I just wanted to show you that um, by using that same question and using two different methods. All right, let's move on to number four. All right, so question four, 11.5 kilometers per hour in one hour. What is our distance? It's got one hour here. So whatever, whatever this is, that's going to be the answer, 11.5 kilometers. Okay, easy one. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so we're up to question five, which had a speed of four kilometers per hour. And we did that in a time of 14 hours. Okay, now we can simply go 14 by four and do it that way. Um, or what you could do, if you're trying to do it in your head, you could, let's grab a different color here, you could sort of split this down the middle. We've got 14 hours, so you could sort of create 10 hours and then do it again with four hours. If we did 10 hours, we'd know that's 40 kilometers. And then again, just in our head, if we did four times four, we'd know that's 16 um, kilometers because it's 14 hours. We're still dealing with hours, so we don't need to divide by 60 or anything like that. And so we could bring this over here and essentially sort of add our mini D1 and D2. And of course, that would give us 56 kilometers. Okay, so you could sort of do a little bit of a, a little bit of a shortcut, I suppose, by splitting this two digit. Um, number of hours into two separate ones and doing it that way. Or of course you could go through the normal process um, of just multiplying 14 and 4. Okay, and just, and just doing it that way, 16, 1, 4 is 5, 56 kilometers. So we get the same thing. Um, it's just whether or not you're comfortable and efficient enough to do it in your mind or whether you need to do it as a, as a sum like that. Um, there's always the option to do, it, to do it this way. Either way, we've got to our answer, 56 kilometers for that particular question number five. Right, right, let's have a look at number six. All right, number six was eight kilometers per hour, and it was in a time of one hour, one hour and 45 minutes. So you've probably got a couple of options here. Okay, again, just trying to do it in your head, what we could see is we've already got one hour there, so that's an easy eight kilometers. And you might be starting to think, well, what's three quarters of eight? Three quarters of eight. Hmm, interesting question. Let's have a look. Two, four, six, eight. 
Well, I want three of those quarters. So I've just created four quarters now, which of course equals one hole. There's our hole, there's our hole. So three quarters would be two and four and six. So I know that three quarters of eight is six. Okay, and so what I can do is add that down here like that, and then I end up with my 14 kilometers in total. All right, so just have a bit of a look at that. So that's one way that we could do it because we've got a nice easy sort of one hour. So that's an easy one, I'll just grab that, thank you. 45 minutes of identified is one of those three of the easy fraction ones. 15 minutes being one quarter, 30 minutes being half, and of course 45 minutes being this arrangement here. And we can easily determine that three quarters of eight is six and just simply add them together so you can do it that way. All right, so hopefully that makes sense and you're seeing it fairly quickly now and you're able to take not so much shortcuts but use a different method to come to the same answer fairly quickly. Or right, I'll leave you to decide on which one's most suitable for you but let's go on to the next question. Okay, question number seven is 20 kilometers per hour and we've got a time frame of three hours and 45 minutes. Okay, I like these fraction ones there, they're fairly easy to work with. Well again, straight off the bat, you probably don't even need to go through the process now that you're getting more efficient. If you do, if you still need to go through that sort of step-by-step -step process, then you would separate them, you'd work out one at a time, and then you'd add them back together to get your answer. But if we sort of do it on, on paper, just scribbling, um, and doing it in our mind at the same time, three hours tw times 20 kilometers is going to give me 60 kilometers, and that's my D1 already sorted. I know that 45 minutes is the same as three quarters of one hour, so if I was able to chop this up into four pieces, I think five's gonna work pretty well, five, 10, 15, 20, I know that one, two, three quarters will give me 15 kilometers, if I was to add those two together, I would have 75 kilometers, which would be my total distance. So D is equal to 75 kilometers. Okay, so we're still using the steps that we went through in the lessons, but we're just being a little bit more efficient here, identifying the most efficient way to use the steps based on what information is in here in these first two boxes. All right, so 75 kilometers for that particular question, question seven. So hopefully that's making sense. All right, a few more to go. Let's get on to question number eight. Okay, so question eight was at a speed of five kilometers per hour. How far would you travel if you continued at that speed for 24 minutes? All right, so now we've got, we don't have a nice easy fraction. It's not in hours, so we've really got no choice. We're gonna to have to set up the equation here. Now you might be tempted to put five at the top multiplied by 24. Um, and if that works for you, fantastic. But when we're multiplying, there's no reason why we couldn't just swap them around and put the larger number on the top and the smaller one underneath. I think most people find that a little bit easier to work out or to work with. Okay, so five times four is 20, carry my two, five times um, two is 10, plus the other two gives me 12, hold still. Right here, now we started with minutes, we're still working in minutes. Okay, if it was hours, we'd be finished, but because it's in minutes, we need to divide by 60. And remember, we can cross off those last two zeros and we still have the same proportionate um, equation. Now I need to know how many times will six go into 12? And we know that's gonna happen twice. And two now becomes my answer in kilometers. And so if I go back up to the question, at five kilometers, per hour, if you did that for 24 minutes, how far would you travel? The distance would be equal to two kilometers. Okay, so two kilometers for question number eight. All right, two to go, let's have a look at question nine. All right, question number nine, a speed of 30 kilometers per hour, how far would you travel if you continued at that speed for two hours? Remember, we're multiplying, okay? I'm hoping that the formula is really stuck in your head now and you should be scribbling it down each time, but 30 kilometers covered in one hour, okay, and here we've got two hours, so for the first one hour I did 30, then it was another hour, so that's two hours, another 30, and of course what we've got is 60 kilometers covered. 
Okay, so question nine, the answer is 60 kilometers. That's a pretty easy one. All right, one more. Okay, question number 10, we're traveling at a speed of 19 kilometers per hour, and we've done so for three hours. Okay, and this simply becomes 19 multiplied by three, 19 kilometers per hour multiplied by three hours, uh, 9, 18, 9, 18, 27, three plus the extra two, 57. And because we were dealing with hours already, hours to begin with and not minutes, times three hours, this answer now becomes our, our final answer of um, 57 kilometers. All right, so there we go. So I'm hoping that you're finding it a little bit more confident now, or you're being more confident, you're finding it a little bit easier. But I would always recommend, and I did this at the start of this video, but we didn't do it on every step. It's important that we do. Look at this first before you start. Write down the equation somewhere on your bit of paper so that you can quickly refer to that, because this formula is going to hold everything together for you. And then it's just a case of, of following the steps. All right, well, I hope that's helpful and your confidence is up. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.